Have you found yourself wondering about the skills in The Division 2? Which skills are actually worth using? This is the third episode of our skill breakdown series where we take a look at all the skills and their different variations. Any gear affecting the skills has been removed as well as making sure no skill mods are active. In this video we'll be going over Hive, which has four variations, Restorer, Stinger, Reviver, and Booster. We'll stick to the same formula where I briefly run through the stats of each type and then discuss how to use them and which ones are the better choice towards the end. Instead of pausing for the gameplay example, I'll just have it running as I talk to reduce the length of these videos a little bit. I like to keep things short and to the point. The gameplay that I have captured for this episode was captured in hard difficulty missions. I did not get any gameplay for the Reviver Hive since it requires teammates and I usually only play solo. Restorer Hive the Restorer Hive sends out micro drones that replenish your armor and then disappear. First, we'll cover the numbers that are shared across all the different hives. They all have a range of 8 meters, a duration of 50 seconds, and a cooldown of 240 seconds. The Restorer has the most charges at 25, it has a health of 137,433, and it heals for 25,266. Stinger Hive the Stinger Hive is your damage dealing variation. It sends out micro drones that explode on nearby enemies. It has 8 charges, a health of 109,947, and it deals 63,166 damage. Reviver Hive The Reviver Hive sends out small drones that revive nearby downed enemies. It has 4 charges, a health of 164,920, and it revives allies with 25% health. Booster Hive. The Booster Hive delivers a stim that increases nearby allies' movement speed, skill haste, aka reduces cooldowns, and weapon handling. This one has 8 charges, a health of 123,690, and buffs for 20% that last 20 seconds. Since I didn't get a chance to put it to the test, I'll talk about the Reviver first. This skill seems like it could be quite useful when playing with a group on harder missions. I won't give a definitive approval or disapproval without testing firsthand, but this may be something you should give a try if you find that your teammates are getting down frequently. Having the hive do the reviving for you allows you to keep putting bullets downrange and stay in cover while your teammates get back in the fight. Of the three that I did test, my least favorite was probably the booster. This is mainly because I don't really see the purpose of a speed boost. Weapon handling is nice, but not really necessary. The one nice thing about this is the cooldown reduction, but I tend to run skills that don't have very long cooldowns. If your build centers around skills with a long cooldown and you don't really have a preference for the other skill to run, this might be a good option for you to check out. I would rank Stinger next. In its base form, the skill isn't all that great, but extra damage is always a nice plus. With a skill power build and solid mods, I could see this being a decent burst damage dealer depending on how high you can get the damage boosted. One nice use I have found for this is dropping it where enemies are entering to get early damage on them, or drop it on top of yourself to damage and stun those pesky, rushing enemies. This leaves my favorite of all the hives, the Restorer. I have found myself leaning towards the healing abilities in this game so far, and my time with the hive was no different. When in a pinch you can double tap the deploy button to drop the Restorer at your feet and it will fill your armor up one chunk at a time and as you continue to take damage, it'll continue to send out more drones and keep you topped off. If you find yourself struggling to stay alive, this makes a good pair with the healing chem launcher to get your armor back fast and keep it up without having to disengage. My final thoughts on the Hive is that like most skills in this game, it seems to be fairly situational, with the most functional variation being the healer. If you're looking to mess around and have some fun, give them a try, but if you want one that you'll have a regular use for, Throw on the Restorer and eat up them heals. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next episode, where we'll be covering the Chem Launcher, which happens to be one of my favorite skills right now.